some say Pequod's Pizza is the best pizza place in Chicago. This is long overdue, boys. We did Gino's, Lou Malnati's, and Giordano's up in the sky. Now we're back on the ground to try Pequod's for the first time on this channel. Crossing my fingers, they make a good batch. Because I've had it good. And I've had it not so good. Let's see. No sad song here, just some real shit. Everyday struggle that people gotta deal with. Found her at the right place, but the wrong time. I like the fact that she never dated online. That was fine, that was cool with me. She was a breath of fresh air, something new to me. And truthfully, I don't do the shit usually. But I was gone off a of fruit bruise, two or three. So Deep dish pizzas take like 60 minutes to finish. So we're this. Kind of make it worth it. Call me old school, and I like that. She texts me all the time, and I write back. You go much with you. All the time and then it faded Now I can't get her off my mind Still kinda hoping we'll get back together If not, I just listen to this track whenever One Deep dish pan pizza Pepperoni sausage from Pequod's Acquired Jump Cut This is kind of a cool, big local spot That we oh, haven't this done is, This is a huge local spot for so, pizza I'm hyped You've never seen it? No, I've never seen it Never even seen a Pequod's Look pizza. at that box steaming Dude, well, it's You think I can get it? I think so Look at the box. It is fuming. The box is steaming. All right, open that baby up. All right. Oh, oh wow, boy. looks really good. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> dude, look at that crust, dude. That's so like caramelized. Very Labriola-esque. Yeah, but look at the amount of tomato sauce. Bro, this is looking good. This is looking real good. I like the labriola, it's been my favorite. So caramelized crust, dude. Look at the crust. Dude, those sausage looking good. I like that the sausage have like little peppered spectacles on them. Spectacles, mm -hmm. speckles. They got glasses on. Little nice pepper speckles. If you're cold, you can just. Yeah, this is a actual fireplace. I have a feeling the cheese pull is going to be surreal. Hmm? It was not. Ow, ow. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Losing some. Whoa, whoa. I mean. <laughs> not bad. Mm. So this is what you call the Chicago you. string play. Ow. Take the strings, you put them on top of the pizza. Chicago string play. That's right. The pizza is known as the Chicago puppet. God, I'm so confused. This is sausage and pepperoni Pequod's pan pizza, Chicago, Illinois. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh boy. This isn't car pizza. Mm mm. That is good though. It's so good, dude. It's a damn good batch. I like the sauce. Thank you. Thank you. Sauce is really good. I like the. Like bread on it, the crust. That you, not not the back crust, but the holding crust. What do you call that? Really, just the dough itself. The dough. Mmm. Look at this. What's up, little guy? It's like a spider web of oh. cheese holding that bug in there. That pepperoni bug. Look at this cheese, dude. That sausage got some good little spices on it. Yeah, that is true Chicago sausage. Mm -hmm. Dude, look at this. Look at this piece of sausage on this pizza. Yeah, dude. This is not like little tiny. It's like a big old meatball. Yeah. You know, it's gonna sound crazy a little bit, but I'd rather have a handful of like big sausages like this than have that layer of sausage that like the other places do. Sometimes I don't want a bite to have sausage. Sometimes. I agree. I get it. I do. I think it's awesome in some days, but like sometimes I just don't want that. But then the sausage just tastes better like this. Like when mm -hmm. it's in its bigger ball form. Mmm. Dude, this is really good. This is another erotic food porn moment. Mm hmm Let's just say what I want involves much more than just the tip. Do you, I still like Labriola better, I think. This is the Danny's Pizza from Labriola Cafe in downtown Chicago. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Holy crap. That cheese is so flavorful. I think we need to do a... This for his lab? Yeah, now, because that's been a while since we've had that. But I think versus like the other main competitors, like the Giordano's and Gino's East and whatever, mm -hmm. I think I like this better than these so far. Better than those, I should say. Right. I like the sauce. It's so tasty. Yeah, I'm usually not a sauce type of guy. But it's got a lot of really good herbs and spices. It's not too watery. Tomato sauce is a lot of the times, and you've heard me talk about this on this channel, why I don't dip stuff in marinara sauce. I always think that's one of the things that's like the least flavor Flavorful, like I don't know, like sauces like that. I don't know. Marinara. But this, I agree. This is like on a different level. Mm -hmm. This is how tomato sauce should be. If you can yeah. make tomato sauce like this, there's a reason this place is like world renowned in a 
tiny little side yeah, building, you know, that you'd, you'd drive right by if you didn't know. Dude, this crust is so fluffy, this dough. I know. I'm excited about trying the back crust here, see how this caramel yeah. stuff is. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. That's where La Brillas really killed it. Yeah, their caramelized crust at the back. But this is, this is something. Yeah, this is really, really good. Wow. Here is my, I've lived in Chicago five mm. years. I've eaten a lot of deep dish pizza. Here is my dude tip for you guys. No matter where you're getting deep dish in the mm. city, even if you're a vegetable fan, do not get them on this type of pizza. The wateriness of like green pepper and onion and tomato, it like, I think ruins what is so great about this. If you get meats like, Pepperoni and sausage is so good because it's two very different types of meat. Like, that's like meatball form. This yeah. is thin little, nice little kind of spicy pepperoni. This just like truly shows what it can be. Yeah, and this sausage is one of the best sausages I've had in a while. Yeah. I this think is really good sausage. This is like wow. And that last bite of crust I had was like extra caramelized goodness. Yeah, that so, was something. Remember at the beginning of the video I said I've had bad ones. It's because we got that green pepper, onion, mm, whatever yeah, on it. Like the, up. Yeah, like you know the Chicago. It's a lot of times it's the sausage and green pepper and onion. It's like the Chicago yep. kind of way of getting it. Yep. I think it ruins it. Wow, dude. This is fantastic pizza. This is another one that like hey, sorry we're not gonna be funny at all in this video. I'm not trying to. Be. It's just straight goodness. Yeah. This is when it actually is a food channel. When you have something this good, what am I gonna make jokes about? If you had a piece of this and you were a New York style guy, mm -hmm. you might honestly convert. This yeah. would be the pizza that would do it Deep for you. Deep dish pizza is not only not better than New York pizza, <laughs> it's not pizza. I thought you were gonna say that you'd bang your aunt for one of these pizzas. You would have sex with your family member. That's what I thought you were going with this. But yeah, that's... Yeah, you were close. I'm still not gonna convert to say that this is like, on a day to day, I'm just gonna be about New York style right. over Chicago. That's just how I feel. Right. But this is the one where you're like, oh, this is what you would be like, I get it. I get why people make arguments for deep dish pizza when you eat something like this. Right. That, that, that's that's the crux of the argument, I, on a, in a sense for me, is you ever have like, like you never have New York style pizza and be like, ugh. I was so disappointed. But deep dish, it's so 50-50. Yeah, it can really intimidate people and it can really kind of be ruined if it's super watery. It looks like a child was doing an art project that went horribly wrong. Look at this. Mm-hmm. I would imagine if pizza could have an abortion, this is what a failed one would look like. Or yeah. they don't use it's good easy cheeses. To blow it. It's like impossible to blow a New York style pizza. It's Most easy of the time. to blow a deep dish pizza. What would that be considered? That would be the room for error is way higher on a deep dish pizza. Science it, no big deal. Eat it. <laughs> Dude, this being one of the more expensive items, I feel like we gotta do a little shout out to the Patreon folks. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. People that donate to our show every single month, their hard earned dollars go towards growing the show and letting uh, our pants get bigger from eating so much pizza pie. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, we got a couple of straight up OGs on this one. Hit me with that first name. Lisa Clink. OG. Bro, always commenting, just a super dope human. We can't tell you enough how much we appreciate you. Also an OG, shift just a little bit and look down at Cecil Herndon. Cecil? Cecil Cecil. We did this last time, I think he also bought like shirts and stuff. Cause mm -hmm. I think, he, he's from Detroit guy. I think Cecil, Cecil Field. Fielder. Duh. I said it before, Cecil Cecil, he's corrected me in the past. Both are just great pronunciations of a great name. That's the truth. Thank you guys so much for donating. Shout outs go straight to you. You're the reason this pizza was purchased today. Seriously, this is... I mean, this was like 25 bucks. This isn't something we could yeah. be getting for a meal unless it was for these guys. So, true. true love, true love. Time to rate that local spot out of five. Cute little whales. How many cute little whales do you give the sausage and pepperoni pan pizza from Pequod's, Corey Wagner? Went to play trivia this weekend, and the one of the things was they gave us a piece of paper, and we had to tell the animal, the correct animal name, right? <laughs> it's like, if it's a dog, you can't just put dog. You gotta put chow or whatever the heck it was. And then also the name What's of the chow? actor that it looks like. Oh, okay. Right? It's so like Beagle, what? Whatever, you know? John Ham. No joke, we're doing it as a team, me, Kylie, Zacho, and Tim, right? Zacho's looking at Kylie's one scribbling him down. I swear to God, there was a, a, a killer whale on this. Bro, why did Kylie write Free Willy? Like, she thought that's what the animals are actually called. And Zacho about lost his mind, goes, bro, you think those animals are called Free Willies? That's a killer whale, bro, that's an orca. 
She legit thought that anim the, those wheels were called just a uh, free, free wheel release for Kylie, a hot second. Bro. For a hot second, bro. Kylie, my hero, my hero, my soulmate. Anywho, uh, let hilarious. me get. I got. I, you uh, you learn new things. That memory. You also learn new things about your fiance. Yeah. Years after you've already known her so well. Now people can really understand how easy it was for her to for me to trick her into marrying me. Easy. <laughs> easy to. All right, out of five. All right, dude. Out of five. This is so good. I gotta go like 4.5. The sauces was unbelievable. The sauce was really good. The dough was amazing. And that buttered crust was like, or caramelized crust was so, so, so good. It wasn't as good as Labriolas in my opinion. Yeah. But it was, this is what I'm getting. If you're like a, a touristy one, mm -hmm. and you wanna come in town and get a deep dish pizza, people just don't go to Labriola because they've never heard of it for some reason, even though I think they should. Yeah, this is the one I'm gonna tell people to go to. He quads, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a 4.75. The exact points off because Labriola's caramelized crust yep. is just a little more flavorful, but perfect how Corey said it. If you're in town, this is right at like Clybourne. And Webster. And Webster. And Southport. Get Labriola on the Mag Mile and get Pequods over here in like Lincoln Park area. 100%. Yeah, 4.75. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much for rocking with us. If you liked us, subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. New videos Monday through Friday. Haven't missed an upload. Yeah, dude. Ever. Ever, ever. Ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no YouTube burnout on this side, uh -uh. bro. Uh -uh. Ain't burning out. Just keep going. See you tomorrow. Bye. Found her at the right place, but the wrong time. I like the fact that she never dated online. That was fine. That was cool with me. She was a breath of fresh air. Something new to me. And truthfully, I don't do the shit usually.